Hey everyone, how are you doing? So today I'm going to show you a new model in stable diffusion, which is giving some really amazing results like this, right? I wouldn't say it is exactly a new model, but there has been a new update a couple of days ago and it's giving some amazing results. Let me just show you something I just put together five minutes ago. So these are the images I've generated. You can see like, you know, I have used some very basic prompts. I did not use too, too much of uh, prompts, right? And they look wonderful. So let, let's just dive deep into it. So the, the model I'm talking about right now is Dream Shaper. The V4 version is now available. So let's just you know, download it. You just have to download it and put it in your web UI folder, right? Once you have downloaded it, just go to your web UI and go to your models, put it in stable diffusion. That's about it. And then you can get started right away. So for creating some amazing results, I would suggest you guys to copy the negative prompt first. And so like you can, you can see all the images they have shown in the demo. So you can take the negative prompt from anyone. So let's see this image. Okay. Let's just take the negative prompt, copy it. Just give me a moment. Copy it and paste it here. And then now, uh, the, it has, it doesn't specify what exactly the, uh, tag word. So you can go with any tag words you want. Uh, I found masterpiece, raw photo, this, these work, and you want a bit more anime style. You can go with that as well. So let's just say, uh, and I also figured out it works way better on creating human faces than sceneries. For creating sceneries, you might have to create a, a bit longer prompt and a bit more specified prompt. It can create some amazing results, even some creepy images as well. So let's try to create a creepy witch image, right? Let's say a witch with dark glowing eyes, right? Let's just say it has creepy white. Uh, 8K masterpiece, raw photo, insane details. Yeah, I'm going to keep the width as 888. I'm sampler method, Euler A works well. No, you can obviously mess around. For the CFC scale, you can go with 10. And they mentioned that, you know, you don't, if you don't want to wash away the anime kind of style effect, you don't have to use the restore face. If you use, it might uh, wash away that effect. So let's just see what kind of results it can create. So just give it a moment. So yeah, yeah, it's happening. So as you can see, it creates pretty good images. You can try the same thing uh, without like, no, uh, the dark glowing eyes part. You can say uh, a cute girl, cute girl wearing a suit. Maybe you want a bit uh, cute. You want that to be cute vibes. Maybe add some more prompts like beautiful. You want to have it in anime style, then you can go with anime style. Right. So this, it can create very interesting images. So yeah, no, it looks really interesting. If you don't want mm -hmm. these uh, uh, side by five side photos, you can try to create a couple of batches of it. Let's go five images and see how it looks like. Yeah, so this look, you know, really interesting. And mm -hmm. the, I know I'm I'm really glad Stable Diffusion is open source right now because you know, uh, with Mid Journey, how to pay for creating images like this and mm -hmm. Stable Diffusion is. Uh, you know, there are a lot of open source models right now, which, which are creating amazing results. So yeah, that's about it. You know, uh, I would just suggest you guys to mess around with the settings, uh, figure out what be works, um, works best for you. I'll see, uh, if it works really well in image to image as well and see what kind of results it gives out and probably I'll create a tutorial on that as well. Yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys have a great day and yeah, do subscribe to my channel and follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram. Have a great day, guys.